All right. So I want to show you how to assess and track the quality of 100% of your team's phone calls, first of all. Instead of listening to calls one by one, you can use AI to identify common problems related to voice interactions. First, right here, we are in the Zendesk QA portal. What we're looking at are some voice calls here that I've gathered. We have a recording of our voice call. We have an AI created summary of the call. You know, this is helping reps wrap up that post call um, analysis and post call notes much quicker. And then we're giving you a full transcript of your calls. So AI analyzes every interaction with a feature we call Spotlight. We'll see it over here in the top right. In this case, these insights allow you to quickly identify the conversations that need your attention. You know, you cannot be manually or humanly reviewing your thousands, tens of thousands of tickets. That's just not possible. So we help, we, we have AI to help us figure out which are the ones that are worth our time and they're giving us the best impact to improve our teams and our operations. Now, Spotlight, let's check out what it can do. Spotlight can help understand and identify certain um, aspects in our conversations, such as churn risk. We can look at identify negative sentiment, for example. But now specifically for voice, we're going to look at, we can look at dead air, you know, when there's long pauses. And we can also find where calls where there's missing recording disclosures. That's really important for organizations. That's a big part of compliance. So we want to make sure our agents are doing that. And if we can catch when they're not, that's really great feedback and training that we can provide for our agents. So now you can use these filters to sample again valuable interactions or use them to set up automated review assignments, which surface again the most high impact interactions for you automatically. For example, I could select several of these and we can create and make an assignment for our reviewers. So clicking on that, we can create a filter, for example, that generates a list of relevant conversations instantly. Now, in this case, I'm going to select one filter that I created where I'm looking at those where the recorded disclosures are missing. We get a set of calls into my inbox as a reviewer, and I can start checking these out. Again, from the thousands and tens of thousands, we're leveraging that AI to identify the ones that I need to spend my time looking at. Again, the usual interface gives us plenty of information to dive deep into the calls. But let's take a look here at Spotlight up here in our top right. What we find is, you know, there's, uh, there's a churn risk identified, there's some negative sentiment, and then here we see where the recording disclosures have been missing. All right. And then as we're reviewing this, we can come into our review panel here on the right hand side and provide feedback for our agents on what went well and what can be improved. All right, and then again, you can customize your scorecards as well. So just let you know, based on if you have different parameters for your business, you can definitely customize different pieces of the scorecards that you're creating. And that's across the entire QA solution. All right, so let's switch gears now to AI agent interactions. In this case, it can be challenging to QA's interactions in general, let alone identifying you know, these interactions where issues like bot repetition are present. So for example, I'm gonna check out a few where we have some AI agents, similar to where we um, pulled some of those specific voice conversations, I can find some of those where we're identifying some that have bots. For example, here, again, I have a filter I created, pulling out my AI agent conversations, I get a few in my inbox, and then here is our conversation where we see a Zendesk QA bot was interacting with our customer. All right, so interestingly enough, in this case, we see Spotlight has identified that bot repetition. And sure enough, we can ask it, well, where is this repetition happening? We can go through our conversation. We see these little uh, colored circles. These mean these are AI capabilities and our AI features out of the conversation. And sure enough, what do we see? A bot got stuck in a loop. You know, that can happen, but we want to identify these conversations that, that helps us drive insights of what are the interactions, what are maybe the specific requests, what are the specific questions that our customers are asking us to, or asking our bots that are causing these loops. So that can help us then improve our bots. 
And again, out of many thousands of bots, that's how we're leveraging the AI to really empower our teams to really derive these impact, these uh, insights that give us the most impact. What's even better is that then we have in our main scorecard here on the right, we have auto QA, which is evaluating, and as I mentioned earlier, also scoring every single interaction. What we see here is auto QA is scoring everything already automatically from our greetings, our closings, our empathy of our agents, et cetera, that then makes my task as a reviewer to fill out my scorecard way faster and easier. Again, helping me get through many more conversations and reviews much faster. So huge, powerful, how we're leveraging AI in QA via auto QA, again, the uh, automatic analysis, evaluation and scoring and spotlight, which is identifying these key risk detectors within all of our conversations. Then of course, we have plenty of dashboards and analytics as mentioned, so you can easily track your performance and get a comprehensive overview of your customer service quality across every channel. And we have some that are specific for bots. So that's how you can use Zen SQA to assess the quality of 100% of your team's phone calls and AI agent and bot conversations. Definitely invite you to explore more if you're already using QA. This is already, of course, available. We unveiled these earlier uh, at AI Summit. And if you're not uh, using QA and you're interested to try it out, please, I welcome everyone to reach out to your team. You can start a free trial and check QA out and see how it can help your teams improve the performance and drive really good insights, not just for your CX operations, but QA can also really help understand insights that can impact the rest of your business, such as your product development, your marketing. That's all been analyzed from these customer interactions.